Good morning, YouTube. It's Meredith Moore here at Wonder Fair in Lawrence, Kansas, back with a very exciting unboxing video for you today. A couple days ago, the delivery man brought us these two pilot boxes. We we're so excited to dig into them. But then we thought, but wait, which one do you open first? So we thought about it for a couple of days. And we have concluded there's only one safe way forward with this unboxing. Simultaneous unboxing. I've never tried this before. Apply all the safety rules that apply to a single unboxing. Short blades. Simultaneous. Okay. Insufficient split. Alright, we're in. That went smoothly. I hate to think what might have happened to the contents had we done that another way. So, thus far, major differences. Smooth packing sheets. Crumply packing sheets. Make a note of that at home in case it's important later. I wouldn't know, it's our first pilot order. It's a brave new world inside these boxes. Next up, what do we have here? Kakuno fountain pens in boxes. Kakuno fountain pens outside their boxes. Intriguing. Crumply paper planted a little fast and loose over here. I'm sensing a pattern. That's great. It's nice to think about the person who packed this box for you. They probably considered these things when they were deciding which box would get the crumply packing. And they thought, maybe the one where all the Kakunos just fly fast and loose around the box. Crumply paper. Maybe the Kakunos did it. In the box. Because they were out and partying. But these are more button-down Kakunos. That's an affordable $15 introductory fountain pen, in case you're curious. It has a smiley face on its nib. Ooh. We've come to the parallel pen portion of this box. This is the hand lettering box, it looks like. Place those aside. Parallel. It's important to display those parallel. It says so right on the box. Great. A couple more. Ooh. What else? Kakunos. Kakunos for days. Kakunos forever. Kakuno Mountain. Crazy for Kakunas. That is a match. Parallel Party. Alright, next up in the party box, Pilot Varsities, the cheapest of fountain pens. A throwaway at only about three or four bucks. We recommend a reusable version but perhaps if you're flying on a plane and can't risk um, a pin explosion of your favorite pin, you could use a varsity. Curious. This one rattles. What will it be? Ah. Oh, mysterious. Ink cartridges. But wait, there's more. Black Plummix. Poor Plummix most often used just to steal its nib and put it on another pin. That's okay, babies. I'll keep you in your box for now. And no one can separate you. For now. A box 
lots of varsities. What fun. We'll investigate that later. Oh, this one also has a box of Kakunos. We'll never run out. And last in this box, we have... A hundred million Pilot Metropolitans. Excellent. Most people's favorite under $20 everyday writing fountain. Excellent. So, this will be for all you pen testers out there. We got this many Metropolitans. On that. How many per box? Six per box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, 48 Metropolitans. Zoink a doink. I'm sure it made sense at the time when I was ordering. Moving along. All right, well, there's no surprises in the bottom of this box, so see ya. Next. wins the award for most wasteful because inside this bubble mailer are these two prayer nibs. No further comment. I will reuse these bubble mailers. Don't even worry about it. Saved. Inside more parts, nibs, these nibs they don't care about, and give them no bubbles for those nibs. Kakuno, part 17. Great. What's this? It's a pilot falcon for me. I might have also bought one to sell. This is like an Instagram superstar pen, and I'm so excited to write with it. Soft, fine nib, very nice gold features. I'll just put that aside. Falcon. And here's a Pilot Prera. Less deserving of whispers than a falcon, but no less desirable. And a lot less money. Prera party. Oh, I believe this is a special order for one of our customers, the Burgundy E95S. It looks like a pocket pen. Wow, good job, Blake. This is a nice looking pen, sir. Oh my God, that's incredible. Um, this pen belongs in the most refined of outer space situations that in the box for Brett. Congrats, Brett, or Blake. Excited for you. Onward. It's a pin. It's another pin. It's an entire two boxes of simultaneous pins. I can't even look at all these names of pins anymore. I just have to start receiving them. Pins. Sorry, sorry, pin. Mysterious blob of paper. Save that for later. Next. Hmm. Intriguing. It's boxes in a box collar, just like the Great British Bake Off. That's how you do it. Thanks, Mary Berry. Don't let her see that I did it sloppy like that. This appears to be so much Namiki ink. Very exciting. Good thing I didn't drop that on the floor. Oh, indeed. Very fine. That design hasn't changed since the 90s. Onward. And at the bottom of this box, perhaps where it gets its fragile designation, 
all of the most beautiful Hiroshi Zuku inks in various nature inspired shades. That's cool. All the inks. Should I try to um, pronounce these in their Japanese and inevitably mangle it with my apologies? Sukiyo, Sutsuji, Shinkai, Yuyake. This is my favorite. Sioro. I think that has to do with pine trees. Takesumi. Amariro. So what's the last thing in the box, other than stuffing? Naturally another pin. And last but not least, I am truly befuddled by what lies before me. It's really nice looking, whatever it is. Sometimes an order takes so long to arrive I forget. <gasps> <gasps> it's seasonal Hiroshi Zuku ink packs. Wow, that's nice looking. I've never even seen this. Where are all you pin people at showing me off these beautiful boxes? <gasps> that's really magical. Cool. Alright, well, if you're thinking about an ink gift, you're welcome. It should be this with a secret window. Probably says the season that this ink set is meant to emulate through its coloration. Well, this was a box for pen nerds, so sign me up. That was great. I had a wonderful time. I have so many cocoonos to receive. Um, and I feel great about it. So I'm just gonna pack these up. I'm glad that went so smoothly. Um, simultaneous box opening accomplished. No, no problem. No ink in the box, so. Am I done? Am I done now? Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks, Paul, for all your help, always. Um, I'm gonna take my falcon and go. See ya.